Hey YouTube, we're just gonna jump into today's video. So, <laughs> the hot video is, um, right now is this video by a YouTuber. Um, her name is Fully Raw Christina and I'll be honest, I've watched like one or two of her videos. I'm not like the biggest fan, but um, she's been pop popping up in my suggested videos because I've been trying to make lifestyle changes. So I've been looking up like healthy videos. YouTube suggested her first video to me, um, which is the cause of this whole, this video. And it was about her body painting experience. So I clicked on it cause I'm like, okay, YouTube is suggesting me this video, suggesting this video to me. And, um, I'm gonna just go and look and see. And I like to watch YouTube videos by like jumping forward and then I'll go back to the start and watch the whole thing if I like it. Jump forward and she has like, she's talking about body painting, jump forward again. She has like the underlines, like the markings for what's going to be on her body. Jump forward again and her whole body is painted black. She is a white person or um, she's white. And jump forward again, her whole body is painted black from the neck down at this point in the video with like the little fruit on it. And at this point, I have a pause. I'm like, hmm, jump forward again. I'm like, please don't do it, please don't do it, please don't do it. And she had committed to the look. She's fully black with a black base for her body. And then the fruit on top, um, painted fruit or painted like tropical magical, earthy cold, everything cold, and it really made me cringe, like, I, I couldn't watch this, like, I, I was trying to watch her talk, and I just couldn't watch, I couldn't, and I, I back, went back, and I was just like, I have nothing to do with that, that is not for me, Well, this morning, I went on YouTube, and I saw in my suggested videos, her apology video, and I watched it and basically, you know, she was just saying it's 2016 and, you know, this is where we are with racism. And then she also spoke on her experiences of racism. I noticed there were a few um, response videos or a few videos about this situation. And then I also decided to go back to the original video and read some of the comments. After reading the comments, after watching... The sorry video and a few of the response videos one thing I noticed that there wasn't a video that had a black voice in the conversation so I decided I would like to do a video I am NOT speaking on behalf of all black people let me just make that clear I don't know all the black people in the world I'm not speaking on behalf of all the black people in the world I'm speaking from my point of view and my perspective um, and that's number one. <laughs> um, number two is um, I want to point out like a lot of the comments I read and a lot of comments you read on anything that has to do with race is why is it that race is so prevalent like the topic of race is the main thing in America. Well I would like to point out that I am not an American but just because I'm not an American doesn't mean that racist things have not happened to me. When you're black, when you're a person of color, when you're a minority, things happen to you that are racist. And um, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how, like, what your family's name is. It doesn't matter, like, you face racist situations at least once in your life. So I feel like even though I'm not American, um, because a lot of these comments were like, well, in America, you guys are always blah, blah, blah. I want to just point out that I'm not American. But I am a black person, I am a minority, I am a woman, I have faced my fair share of disgusting things in the name of racism. Um, but again, this is not me speaking on behalf of everyone. So, jumping into the video further, um, after I read, I went, like I said, I went back on her video and I read a lot of the comments and I just kept seeing like a reoccurring theme or like reoccurring categories category of um this is just art category that I feel that I fall into of this makes me uncomfortable 
I don't think she's racist, but this makes me very uncomfortable. I'm a little offended, but it's more like cringe, cringe. Um, but overall, I don't think she's racist. The camp or the category of people that fall um, or that believe that she is racist and they are offended and that was a racist act. And then the group of people that are like, this is not racist. You guys are always talking about race. Everything is about race with you. Stop making it about race. So I just want to talk about each of those like categories. And again, this is just my opinion. I haven't consulted with all the black people in the world about this. This is just me. Um, so for those of you that think it's just art, personally, I think a lot of artists do things in the name of art. Um, and they try to get away with stuff because it's just art. Now, I'm not saying that this is what happened here. But I am saying that a lot of artists knowingly do things, knowingly create things, knowingly make things under the guise of, I am an artist, this is just art. And for me, this shoot looked like it was planned. Like, they had the weave out there. They had the, the different artists painting her. They had to talk about this shoot. There had to be a concept for this shoot. And... I find it very hard to believe that a, a team of people could not come together and at one point say, you know, this kind of feels kind of black faith-ish. And I don't think we should do it this way. She could have been painted. Her base could have been a different color. They could have taken a different approach. I just don't think... I find it very hard to believe that a group of intelligent people, a group of people that have first world worries and problems, like... People who probably for that day, their biggest worry was, am I going to run, get to run to Starbucks before I start this shoot? I find it very strange to, to say that, oh, all of this is just art and I didn't know. There's only so often so much that you can hide behind this guise of I am an artist. What this project is a, a expression of something within my soul and then say that I didn't know it could be offensive. So that's just my opinion on that. Like, I think I am also an artist. I paint, I draw, I do a lot of like digital things. I feel that whenever I do something, which I don't, I don't try to engage in art that can be offensive. But if I were to do anything that I might think could cause an uproar, I do my research or I just pull back from the project and I ask, could this be offensive? Because I don't want to offend. I don't want to be offended. Why would I want to offend anyone? So to the group of people that say that this is racist and um, they are offended, they find this offensive and they feel that she is racist. So to that, I have to say, I understand um, there is a thing called blackface. And, you know, it's so interesting to me um, with blackface. A lot of people like to feign ignorance. They like to say, Oh, um, I don't know what this blackface thing is, but literally last week, like every day on Facebook, someone was posting something about a college kid getting kicked out of school because, um, shift you a little bit, because they posted something on Snapchat with them in blackface making fun of black people. I know there are legit some people that don't know what blackface is, but... There are a lot more people that do know what it is. And blackface is offensive. Like, you can't shake, you can't dance around it, you can't, like, step aside from it any which way. Blackface is offensive. Blackface is racist. Now, I think this, I, I just think, me personally, I think this wasn't intentionally blackface. I do not think this... Can, came out like in the meeting like let's make it blackface and then like yeah we could put flowers and figs on it and it'll be okay like I don't think that's what the conversation was but I think it when all was said and done it brought up that feeling it evoked that image of blackface and that's where it's irresponsible that's where I don't really have sympathy because I'm just like how can you look at this video and just be like this is okay so for me it I understand where the feeling of this can be blackface comes from 
But for me, I just, I, I'm hoping that, you know, they didn't go into this being like, oh, it looks like blackface. Oh, but nobody will know. So it's okay. Um, and that's where I feel like I can't say it's racist. Um, I don't think there was an intent, but uh, an intent for it to be racist. But I do feel very uncomfortable looking at this. I feel very uncomfortable. Like I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. Like I literally was, I clicked for it and I was like, no, 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 no. Let me click back a little bit. Oh, she's still there. Oh God. Let me get back a little bit. Oh my God. Oh, let me just go back to the next, like the last page, like. I couldn't watch it. It really made me feel uncomfortable. Um, do I think blackface is racist? Yes. Um, but I'm just very on the fence about whether this was intentionally racist. I don't think it was. But I do feel very uncomfortable. And I do feel like this whole team um, putting this video out, putting this body painting um, project together was very irresponsible. And lastly, to the group of people that um, are just like, well, everything is racist, you guys are always crying, and blah, 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 blah. I always say, just because something isn't happening to you or hasn't, happening, hasn't happened to you doesn't mean it's not real. There's a lot of things that aren't happening to me, maybe will never happen to me, haven't happened to me, but it's happening right now, and it's somebody's reality, and I cannot legitimately stand in front of them and say well that doesn't matter because it's not happening to me um that's what I'm hearing when you say everything is about race uh, you can be of the same camp of people that say like I'm saying and say like oh I don't believe this is racist you can be in that camp but you don't have to be disrespectful to people who do feel it is racist and who are very offended you don't know who might have had somebody dress in blackface in front of them and make fun of them and all they could do is just stand there and look at that, that person and be like, okay. Um, and there was another, there were a few comments from black people that were like, well, I don't find this offensive. And again, that's your right. I'm not getting on you. But I think white people like to pick up on that and they're like, well, this black person over here is not offended. So why are you guys offended? And just because one black person isn't offended doesn't mean that the rest of the black people in the room or people of color, it doesn't mean that they aren't offended. Um, it's kind of like how I'm saying, like, I'm not speaking for all the black people. I don't know who's offended. I don't know who, who isn't. But just because I don't think it's racist doesn't mean that it could like it could very well be racist but I just don't feel it is but I'm not over here saying on behalf of all black people it's not racist I'm just putting in a conversation putting in my voice to the conversation so I feel like for you to kind of use black people's opinion against other black people is wrong and for you to say like okay black person a isn't offended so the rest of you need to Put on your big boy jockeys, put on your big girl panties, and get unoffended is offensive. No one knows what um, racist things have happened to me. And I don't know what racist things have happened to <laughs> my little cousin is playing. I don't know what racist things have happened to you. So I can't sit here and just be like, well, this doesn't offend me. And then you just take that and bottle it up and throw it in that other person's face and be like, well, chick with the, the curly hair isn't offended today, so you shouldn't be either. That's really unfair. And it's not fair to tell people how to feel. It's not fair to tell people what to experience. It might be frustrating to you, but at the same time, if a lot of people are telling you something, shut up and listen. Shut up and listen and shut up and try to understand where they're coming from. It might seem rude of me to say shut up and listen, but sometimes we need to just shut up and listen. Like sometimes I have to shut up and listen. There are things that haven't happened to me and I have to shut up. I have to be quiet. I have to open my ear. I have to hear. I have to listen. And I think um, a lot of people are trying to rob people of their right to share what's going on. Okay. 
So this could have been prevented. This could have been thought through a lot better. Um, you guys could have, like, someone should have just put two and two together and been like, this equals four. Instead of being like, this equals one. Like, you should have thought this through. Um, all the videos will be linked below. The original video, the apology video, um, and fully raw Christina. I hope you learned from this one. Bye.